Hello everyone, I am Risha and this is For the Love of Classics. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to recommend some classics for beginners. Many of you people have asked me to recommend some classics for new readers or people who are trying to get into classics. I don't feel very comfortable recommending books to others because I'm not sure what kind of books you guys like, whether my recommendations would be helpful to anyone because I don't know your reading tastes and I don't want to be the person who recommends the wrong books. But today the books I'm going to recommend in this video are some of the classics which I would recommend to a younger me. If a younger me was watching this video 10 years ago, these would be the books that would have helped her out. So keeping that in mind, I'm going to be recommending some books to you as well. I hope you guys find this video helpful and I hope you guys find these books fun and entertaining. So the first classic which I would like to recommend is Animal Farm by George Orwell. This is such a fantastic book. It is one of my favorite books of all time. It's a short book, less than 100 pages long, but is extremely well written. It's a satire about the corruption of power. It's funny. It's witty, it makes sense. George Orwell wrote it as an allegory of the Russian Soviet Union and its fall. It's called The Animal Farm because in this short book, the animals in the farm rebel against the man who owns the farm. And once the animals are in power, they get greedy and get corrupted by this power. It's an allegory about revolution and how chaotic the consequences of a revolution can be. It can go terribly, terribly wrong. This book is so relevant to the society we live in today as we see similar things happening around us. I think everyone should read this book. I have recommended this book to my brother, to my husband. And the reason why I do that is because this book has a very universal theme. Anybody can connect to it because we see similar things happening around us. It also comes with simple language because it is a modern classic and it's very easy to read. So this is the first book which I would like to recommend to someone who wants to read classics. The second classic which I would like to recommend is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Unfortunately, I do not have a physical copy of that book with me right now. I love Pride and Prejudice so much. And it is one of those books which started the classics journey for me. So I would definitely recommend this book to anybody who wants to get into classics. The book was originally published in the year 1813 and Jane Austen was a British writer. She wrote six complete novels, but her best known work is Pride and Prejudice. For years, people have enjoyed reading Pride and Prejudice. And you may already know the story of the book because the book has so many film adaptations. But even if you have watched the film, I would recommend you pick the book and read it because the book is such an excellent piece of literature. At the beginning of the story, we are introduced to Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Bennett and their five daughters. The sole purpose of Mrs. Bennett's existence is to get her daughters married off. The protagonist of the story is Elizabeth Bennett. She is such a vibrant and powerful character. She learns to understand the difference between superficial goodness and actual goodness. It is a comedy of manners and you will find this book very amusing, very engaging and very, very entertaining. Even if you find the language a bit tough, you can always listen to an audiobook. But please don't give up on it. It's such a good book. You will absolutely love it. I vouch for it 100%. If you have read Pride and Prejudice and love it, then the second Jane Austen book which I would like to recommend is Persuasion by Jane Austen. The reason why I would like to recommend Persuasion is because I absolutely loved it. It was not a very long book, but the story in this book was so sweet and heart-wrenching. It is a story about Anne Elliot who falls in love with a young man at an early age, but is persuaded to decline the proposal because the guy is not equal in rank to their family. This love story is so entertaining and the social commentary in the background just keeps the pace of the book going. I loved the character of Anne Elliot and Captain Wentworth, how they overcome all the obstacles in their path and learn to make their own decisions in life. So these are the two books which I would recommend to people who want to start reading classics. Definitely start with Pride and Prejudice and then come to Persuasion if you love the first one. The next book which I would like to recommend is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I'm sure you all have heard about Frankenstein already, but do you really know what the book is about? For some reason, everybody assumes that Frankenstein is the monster, but that is not the case. Frankenstein is actually the name of the scientist who created the monster. 
I was very hesitant in picking up this book, but I definitely think it's a book which everybody should read. The story is so unique and so different from what we expect it would be. The whole backstory of why Mary Shelley wrote this book is so interesting. There's a film called Mary Shelley, which tells the story of how Mary Shelley actually wrote the book. She was in a relationship with the famous poet Percy Shelley. Percy Shelley, Mary Shelley and Lord Byron, another famous poet of the time, had a story writing competition for fun. That is where Mary Shelley found the idea about the whole story. Reading the book Frankenstein might be a bit different from reading a normal novel because of the way the book is written. First, we hear the narrative of the scientist and in the second half, we hear the narrative of the monster himself. It's so heartwarming and heart-wrenching. This book is so atmospheric. It's not just a horror story or a sci-fi novel. It's so much more than that. We see the scientist who is very ambitious and he wants to achieve something in life. He does an unorthodox experiment which goes horribly wrong. He is horrified by the monster he has created. He is terrified of what he has done. In the second half of the book, we hear the narrative of the monster who is a very intelligent being who has feelings and emotions because he was created by man. If you don't want to read Jane Austen or any kind of romance stories from classics. This is the book I would like to recommend because it has so much meaning in it. It has so much depth. We hear about Frankenstein today on television. It's everywhere. So this is where it all started. And I would highly suggest you look into it if you want to read classics. The next classic which I would like to recommend is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is a Victorian classic. It was originally published in the year 1854. The reason why I would like to recommend this book is because it is absolutely brilliant. I love this book so much. It is a social novel in which we see this family who live in the south of England move to the north of England. The north of England was the more industrial part of England at the time. This family moves to Milton. Gaskell has loosely based this fictional town on Manchester. This family has just three people in it. It just has the parents and their daughter Margaret Hale. Margaret Hale is such an excellent character. She is this lady who has lived in London, but now she has come to a place which is absolutely different from what she is used to, but she makes the most of it. She befriends some of the workers in these industries, and we see the difference between these two different classes of people. At the core of the social novel is such a beautiful love story between Margaret Hale from the South and John Thornton from the North. I love this book almost as much as I loved Pride and Prejudice. It also has an amazing BBC television adaptation. They have done such a brilliant job with the casting, with the film. Everything in the adaptation is perfect. So I would definitely recommend both the adaptation and the book North and South. The next classic which I would like to recommend is also a lesser known classic and it is A Country Doctor's Notebook by Mikhail Bulgakov. Bulgakov was a Russian writer. He is famous for his book Master and Margarita, which I have not read yet. But one of his books which I absolutely loved was A Country Doctor's Notebook. I have also reviewed this book in one of my previous videos, which I'm going to link up here. I would recommend it to beginners. I'm not sure why I'm using the word beginners because I consider myself a beginner as well. I would recommend this book because I absolutely loved it. It was just a small book, 150 pages long. The book had 10 short stories in it and was very easy to read. This translation is by Michael Glennie. The story is about this young doctor who has recently graduated from a medical school and as soon as he graduates, the first job he gets is in a far-flung village where he is to be the village doctor. Being a doctor in a country is very different from being one in a city because in a city there are many hospitals, you have a lot of doctors working there and you can learn a lot from them. But when you are the only doctor in a country, you have to deal with all sorts of patients and all sorts of maladies. And so we see this young doctor stumbling his way through his new job. He hasn't practically done anything in the field of medicine until now and now he is supposed to deal with all sorts of cases. So in one chapter we see him tackle a complicated delivery and in these 10 chapters we see different sorts of characters pop up. As a doctor one meets different kinds of people. The people approach a doctor in a very vulnerable condition and this interaction between the doctor and the patient when both the doctor and the patient are feeling vulnerable was so enlightening and entertaining to read. The tone in the book was all very comedic. 
Bulgakov was himself a medical doctor, so he has written this from his own personal view of the profession. I'm a doctor myself and I really enjoyed reading this book. There is also an excellent television adaptation for a country doctor's notebook. It is called A Young Doctor's Notebook and it has excellent casting Daniel Radcliffe and John Hamm. Both of those characters did an excellent job with that series and I highly recommend the book and the adaptation. Bulgakov, after graduating from medical school in 1909, spent his early days of career as a venerologist. He wanted to be a pediatrician, but he gave up on that because syphilis was very prevalent at the time. He made some great discoveries about syphilis as well, which by the way, I just found out from Wikipedia. Isn't that awesome? The next classic which I would like to recommend is Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. When I was growing up, everyone around me recommended Jane Eyre to me and Wuthering Heights. When I was older and I read Agnes Grey, I found it more accessible and more fun. So Anne Elliot is the lesser known of the Bronte sisters, but she was an amazing writer. This was her first published book. It was published in the year 1847. It is also a Victorian classic but is a very short one, just 200 pages long and is very easy to read. It is a good book to start from because it is a coming of age story. We see the character of Agnes Grey as she gets her first job as a governess and we see how cruelly she is treated there. She is hired to take care of the children but is not allowed to do her job. The children are spoiled and are cruel, so are their parents. Agnes is accused of all the mischiefs that the children do and very soon Agnes is relieved of her job. She soon finds another job and the next family though less cruel are still not the best people. She is considered inferior wherever she goes but she stays strong and we see her grow throughout the book. I finished this book in one day. It was such an easy read and so fun and entertaining. I love the character of Agnes Grey. I think it's an excellent book if you want a coming of age story, if you want a quick read and I think you guys will love it. The next classic which I would like to recommend is another Victorian classic and it is Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. This was Thomas Hardy's fourth book and it was published in the year 1874. The reason why I would like to recommend this book is because it is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I have read a lot of books by Thomas Hardy and this was not the first book by him which I read. But this was that one book which absolutely proved to me that he is the best writer ever. The protagonist of the story is Bathsheba Everdeen. She inherits a farm from her uncle and because of that her financial position changes drastically. The reason why I absolutely loved this book is because the prose, the writing in the book was just so beautiful. The backdrop of the story was so idyllic. It is the southwest of Britain. It's called Hardy's Wessex. You feel like you are right there when he is describing these idyllic places. The book also has excellent film adaptations. There was a recent one which was so stunning as well. There's absolutely nothing I would like to change about that book. You know when you are usually reading a classic and you feel like, oh, these couple of chapters are just boring and I wish the author had not written them and just skipped over to the next thing which happens in the story. But that never happened with this book once. Every paragraph, every chapter was so crucial and so beautifully written that I wanted more of it. Thomas Hardy grabbed my attention throughout the book because of the writing. It was so enchanting. That is one good word to describe his writing in this book. It's enchanting. It's magical. Another classic which I would like to recommend is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. If you like gothic literature and spooky tales, then this is the book I would like to recommend. The atmosphere of the book is kind of similar to Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. It's spooky, it's dark, it's mysterious, but the writing in this one is so much more accessible. The reason for that is because it is a modern classic. It was written in the 20th century. There are a couple of problems with the actual story, but the writing in this book is so brilliant. It was so easy to read. It felt like a thriller. It was spooky without being scary. It had an atmosphere, a theme and it has stayed with me ever since I have read this book. It's an impactful book. It will make a strong impression on you. So I would definitely recommend Rebecca. So the story is about this young girl who is a companion to an older woman. They are living in Monte Carlo where she meets an older widowed man. The name of this guy is Maxim de Winter. He's very rich and well off but also very mysterious and he proposes to this young girl. We never find out the name of this protagonist. 
she is a nobody and then she becomes Mrs. De Winter. Then we find out the story of the first Mrs. De Winter who is Rebecca, that's the title of the book. And I think it's a very good book to start with classics because it is a modern classic. It has excellent writing, it is easy to read, the story is engaging, it has beautiful language without being stuffy. I think it's very famous for a reason, it's absolutely brilliant. So I think those are all the classics which I would like to recommend for now. I think there are a total of 8 or 9. I hope you guys find this video helpful. I hope these books prove to be good recommendations. I know different people like different books and that is why I feel very hesitant in recommending books to others. But I think these books cover the major chunk of reading types. And I hope you can find at least one good recommendation from this video. I'm going to make another video in which I will recommend specific classics for specific types of reading tastes. So let me know what kinds of books you like to read and I would make a classic recommendation keeping that in mind. That's it for now. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends if you think they will find this helpful. I'm going to see you all in my next video very very soon. Bye!